Good afternoon. This is Shannon McClellan with Hometown News, keeping you connected to your hometown. With me today, I have a woman who is the survivor of being captured and held captive for three months in a human trafficking ring. Her name is Tamia Neji, and she is here today to talk about the work that she is doing to help bring some light to this horrible issue of human trafficking. When we hear about human trafficking, we often don't think that it happens this close to home. Unfortunately, that is untrue. And Tamia is uh, created a, a cause called Tamia's Cause to specifically bring light to human trafficking. So thank you so much, Tamia, for being here with us today. Such a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. So if you could tell our viewers at home a little bit about uh, how you went from escaping from this horrible situation to then being an author, speaker, and social advocate for human trafficking and creating uh, this wonderful foundation of Tamia's Cause. Thank you so much. Well, it was a long journey. Let's start with that. I ended up uh, getting out of the victim of human trafficking at the age of 21. I found myself in this beautiful country where uh, people were very helpful, even though they didn't know what really happened to me. So Canadian people really helped me to kind of back, get back on my feet once one step at a time. And uh, once I realized that I was a victim of human trafficking, which happened about 10 years after, I realized that this is where my heart is and my passion and I want to give back and the rest is kind of just kind of happened to me in a way it was a snowball reaction. And you've then gone on to provide training and advocacy to help other victims or potential victims of human trafficking. So tell us a bit about the work that you're doing to help bring light to this situation. Yeah, so uh, at the very beginning in 2009 till 2015, I started uh, a safe house here in Canada for sex trafficked victims and eventually human trafficked victims. And we started some groundbreaking work and, and not because we are so cool, it's just because it was so unknown at the time. So I just started doing the work and connected with over 149 uh, police agencies. We ended up training over 10,000 agent uh, police officers just in the first few years. We ended up uh, working and assisting over 400 victims and their families. So what that means is we gained a, a lot of um, information and more knowledge on what's happening on the front lines here today in Canada. Um, and uh, we kind of carrying that uh, knowledge and training over. Uh, the trends are changing. So we are very familiar with the new trends. I still work with law enforcement today on front lines. Um, so that knowledge uh, kind of uh, uh, transformed into this uh, training materials that we are offering. So today I have a company, it's called uh, Timeo's Cause. And this company, a for-profit company, basically offers training by employing survivors of human trafficking. So we employ our survivors, our, our educators, and we offer survival-led and survivors uh, uh, perspective training on human trafficking for police, uh, service providers, and the general public, like hospitality, gas station owners, taxi drivers, and parents, and the list just goes on. That is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing. It is so important and so important to help people understand that, you know, human trafficking, it, it's something that, you know, when we think of Canada, Eastern Ontario, um, we don't think of it happening around here, but unfortunately that's not true. It's happening a lot closer to home than what we realize, um, which brings me to the, talking about the training that you do. Our local Smith Falls Police Force were among uh, other officers throughout Eastern Ontario that I believe back in February went through your virtual training. So that's absolutely incredible that we're getting some training right here in our own, our own hometown. Uh, now, Tamia, a question out there that I think a lot of parents specifically might be thinking about when it comes to human trafficking in our area. Um, with our children being online, social media being so uh, prevalent these days, what would you suggest to parents who, you know, whose children are on things like Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp, how can they help protect their children from getting into these situations that could potentially uh, be harmful for them? Yeah, so thank you for that. Um, you know, there's a lot of things we say on our trainings. We have specific 
classes and courses for, for parents and kids about this specific topic. We actually just released uh, a talk show material. It's 45 minutes and on YouTube, it's called Now You Know Talk Show. And the name of the episode is called The Kids Are Not All Right. And in that episode, we actually invited uh, a local student, a student counselor from Kingston area. We invited a social media expert and we invited a detective who could actually give a broad perspective to parents and kids on how uh, uh, human trafficking starts online today, what are the apps and what are the language to look for. So there's a lot of really good information in that talk show, but just for a second for you for now and for anybody who's watching, I would just say two things. Be very transparent with your kids and make sure that you always understand what kind of apps your kids are using, number one. Number two, empower your your kids. So instead of saying, don't do this, don't do that, say, I know you're already living 90% of your life online. Let me show you how to do that safety. Would you please sit down with me and can we watch this episode together? So that would be, and then the one message that I would have specifically to kids, kids, if it feels off inside of you, that little tingly feeling in your tummy when you get a message and somebody says, send me a nude and you don't know them, just listen to your intuitions because your intuitions will never let you down. If it feels wrong, if it feels funny, if it's something your grandma or your mom wouldn't approve, try not to do that because then that's the, probably the best way to prevent uh, some, some bad things happening. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. And I think too, you know, we see, we, we think of uh, even our children being unsafe walking down the street or, you know, potentially just being uh, picked up by somebody, but these situations are happening online and people are, kids are being groomed specifically uh, for human trafficking. So really important to have those conversations, you know, instead, like you're saying, not to instill fear in them, but to empower them so that they look for the right things to not get into those situations. 110%. Um, now, so Tamia, if uh, people wanted to get involved and help support uh, Tamia's cause with your organization, how would they go about getting involved? Where would they find training materials for any parents or people out there in the community who may want to help inform themselves? Thank you. Great question. And before I answer that, I just want to give a huge shout out to Smithsville Police and all the organizations who decided to take this training. We've been actually doing this training consecutively for the last two months. It is online, so people keep getting this training every single day, and every day we're getting the feedback. So a huge shout out to any OPP officers, Smithsville Police, and service providers who's been taking time out of their very busy schedule to get this training and, and take it very seriously. So kudos to you guys and thank you very much for your support. And uh, we, you can find us online. It's timiascause.com and our actual online school, it's called TC Online Institute. But you can find us through timiascause.com. And in the next few months, we're actually going to start to roll out a lot more content and a lot more classes. One of the class will be specifically aimed for parents and kids. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Tamia. So we will make sure that we tag your website in the description of this video as well so that people out in our community can easily find it. Now, is there anything else that you would like to add? Any messages out there to anybody in our community who may be watching that maybe we haven't covered yet today? Yeah, so if you're listening to this and you, you hear human trafficking, you're like, oh, that's not happening here. I know she says it does and I know the police is getting trained, but it's not like the movies. It's not something you just want to walk away from. It's okay. I know it sounds scary. I know it sounds terrible and it is terrible, but the only way for you to protect yourself and your family from it, if you get educated. And the last thing I just want to say is nobody is immune to this. Nobody. So uh, I would just get educated. And once you know, that's why we call our show. Now you know. Now you know, and now you know what to do against it. So, uh, and to protect yourself. Definitely. Well, there you go, folks. Now you know there's a bit of education for you as surrounding human trafficking. Again, something that is happening a lot closer to home than what we realize. So hop on to Tamia's website, tamiascause.com. Uh, we will tag that in this video and get some information on how you can help protect yourself and your family from human trafficking. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Tamia. This is Shannon McClellan with Hometown News. Together, we are community strong.